May I have your attention, please? Let us continue now these services for our dear brother, James Radio Kennedy. My friends, whereas once again death has invaded our ranks and removed from the walks of life is our beloved brother, his soul having departed to dwell in the undiscovered country from whose bone no travel returns. It has become our sad duty to commit his body to the grave, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, and dust to dust. And I inspire the privilege of the confident hope of the coming again of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the resurrection of the body from the grave and the glorious life reserved for the children of light in the realms of glory. Let us remember as we leave this place that we serve a God who loves us. Let us remember when we leave this place that he is not unjust, he is not unrighteous, and that he always rewards us when we do and show love to those who are saved. And also let us remember that he keeps his promises. God is a God who keeps every promise that he has made. Let us be encouraged. Radio has signed off for the last time. He moved to a higher frequency. He's now in the presence of the Lord. Let's bless God today for his life. May God bless and keep you. Pastor Garrett will come, and he's going to lead us in prayer, and he is going to do grace and benediction. Let us pray. Wise and merciful God, we thank you for the privilege of knowing radio. We thank you for the opportunity to experience the love that he shared with us, the love we shared with him. God, let it never leave our minds and our hearts the time that we spent together. We ask now that you continue to send your angels around this family so that this family will know that you care for them, you love them, and even though they are absent from radio at this moment, that if they trust and believe in their hearts that you are God, that they will see radio again. And that's not only a promise that is for the family, that is a promise to every one of us that are under the sound of my voice that we will see him again. Thank you, God, for the precious memories. Thank you for all the lives that he impacted and continue to impact. Thank you for all those that cared for him, God, not just in his sickness, but those that cared for him throughout the years of his life. We ask now, God, that you continue to let the love of God bless us and keep us together. Father, there has been a meal that has been prepared for us, we ask now that you bless the hands that have prepared that meal, bless those that will receive that meal, that it may be nourishment to our bodies so that we may continue to do thy holy and righteous will. Now unto him who is able to present us faultless in our day of judgment, we all say amen, 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 amen. 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 And amen.